what's up everybody and thank you for watching another episode of my messy desk uh, my name is scooter roth i have several different brands myths of mayhem uh room light weddings uh, picture thingies, rubbing shoulders, and I also have a nonprofit called Changing Optics. So that's a little bit about me, and this is the uh, office where the magic happens, you could say. So uh, my my messy desk is all about just uh, some of the back end work that I've been uh, dealing with, and uh, so for the longest time I had uh, internet running to the house through cable uh, up until somewhere around two years ago when we decided to cut the cord. So we wanted to cut cable, and we were doing things like Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that me and my wife so uh i ended up getting a uh, personal hotspot device uh, about two three years ago uh and i use this for the photo booth so whenever you're doing a photo booth uh, under my brand picture thingies or whether it's with the mitzvah or the wedding brands uh, what it is is that now people want social sharing, so we'll have a social sharing area where after people take a photo, they go over to the social sharing station and they can upload their photo to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or things like that, uh, depending on the different social medias. So you need a usually a, a good reliable internet to send the photos from the kiosk that's taking the photo booth from the photo booth over to the sharing station. So the, those things would be connected wirelessly. So you would use a personal a hotspot device so this is the one that i got from at&t this is about two three years old and it was getting a good signal it was great and reliable uh the problem was is that the battery inside started to get bloated as you can see here so it's a little bit thicker than what you wanted uh but it was a little bit bloated so because of that i decided to upgrade this device um even though the signal was good but it was kind of starting to lag and that's not what i wanted to do so I ended up upgrading to this Netgear device and I thought it would be great, it would be a faster, stronger signal, it would be a lot more reliable because it's a newer technology. You see online it says it's a good device. The problem is, is this thing freaking sucks. I don't know if you can see it here. Um, it's a Netgear one. Um, it's supposed to get a good signal. It's got four bars right now. And the problem is, is that no matter what room I'm in in the house, if I go to, if I'm in one room and I go to the other room, this loses signal and it starts getting extremely slow. And for a high-end device, it should not be doing that. So, this is, for the most part, just a paperweight now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, maybe possibly sell it. Maybe somebody else can have better luck with it. But for me, uh, my review of this Netgear Nighthawk is a thumbs down. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm not a tech person, so there may be somebody else who could uh, uh, set it up properly. It looks like a nice device. I may try to see how it works in the field um, when I'm doing those photo sharing things. Uh, but anyway, so I had to switch back and go with a wired internet. So that's what's back here. So now I have it set up to the Ethernet cable to the computer. So now I'm getting really fast, reliable upload speeds, which is really important, especially when I'm sending files to clients. You know, if I send a long form video file that's like 15, 20 gigabytes large, uh, and I'm doing it through something like WeTransfer, I don't want to have to sit back and wait a day or two just for it to upload. Or if I have a videographer sending me files, I don't want to have to sit back and use up the computer all day just having it download one file that's 15 20 gigabytes large or things like that so i'm doing a lot of uploading and a lot of downloading so just going back to a wired internet is extremely reliable so that's uh basically what my message desk is all about so now that i have this ethernet wired connection again and really strong internet coming in I now have to go back into the Lightroom cloud and make sure that the Lightroom on this desktop, the Lightroom that's on my tablet, the Lightroom mobile that's on the phone, that all those are now syncing properly. So um, that's basically what today's desk is all about. Uh, that's uh, my agenda. The other thing I want to talk about is I'm due for a new business card. And I was thinking about different ways to go about it. So what I have here, and I'm going to show you real quick. So this is a stack of a ton of business cards that I've collected over the past year or two. And it's from DJs, venues, event planners, all different kinds of things like that. So I take all the information, I put it into MailChimp, uh, which is where I keep my mailing list. So I could send them information, let them know what we're at, um, so that they can constantly see if there's any photos that they're in. You know, if they're a DJ, maybe they got some DJ dance floor shots that they want to use. Or maybe there's a florist or a decor company or, you know, they plan all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's the reason why I hold on to these. But... Since I'm in the market for a new business card, I figured I would show you this. If you look at this stack, 
which business card do you think stands out? You know, which one? So, to me, there's there's a couple that kind of stick out, but one really sticks out. And that's this square one that's a little bit bigger. So if you pull it out, and this is a, a company called 360 Creative Approach. So on our website, you will notice that they did, um, I think they did Daniel's Bar Mitzvah. So if you go to mitzvahmayhem.com, you go to Daniel's Bar Mitzvah, you'll see uh, some decor there. Uh, it kind of had like a Coke theme to it. Um, but anyway, um, so that was 360 Creative Creative Approach. Uh, her name is Farah. So uh, nice job and, and good idea to have a square business card. So because of that, my next business card is probably going to be just a simple square one because I think it stands out in a pile like this. So uh, the next couple ones that stick out, the ones that are slightly bigger than that, um, there's a company called Main Event. So Main Event is kind of like competition, but... Uh, main event is in the same office complex that uh, a company called QLT is. So QLT.com is where I get a lot of my favors and frames for events, for mitzvahs as well. So uh, kudos to main event for having a good smart business card. Uh, the next couple here that really stick out. Um, you can see how they stick out is that they're slightly bigger than all the rest. They're just slightly off from the standard size. Some of them are a little smaller. If you don't want to go smaller, I'd go a little bit bigger. Um, so this one's nice and flimsy. Um, it's nice and shiny too. So this is Kimberly Muferi, who is a great photographer as well. She was shooting a wedding that I was doing flip books at. Um, so she hopped in and we shared some information. So there's Kimberly Muferi. That's already a couple years ago. Uh, I got to see how she's doing. Uh, and then there's one last one that also sticks out. Um, this is from a guy that we do a lot of events for. So, and that is, uh, this guy, Malcolm, who is a nice guy, and he runs 466 Caterers. We do a lot of events for 466, especially for Mitzvah Mayhem. Uh, we recently did Ruby, we recently did Skyler, we recently did Gabby, we uh, did, are doing quite a few more, so uh, kudos to Malcolm for having a good smart business card, because in a pile like this, you know, if somebody has a pile of business cards like this, you want something that sticks out. That's the most important part with business cards. So. Uh, so that's uh, one of my other agendas is to order new business cards and you know just looking at a stack like this and seeing what stands out um, it kind of gives me a, a good idea of how I want to go approach it so I definitely want to go with that square uh, approach um, so with that being said uh, we're probably about two, three minutes in. This is a relatively quick video. It's actually, I'm seeing it's about almost eight minutes long. <laughs> so anyway, that's what my messy desk today is about. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, over with Changing Optics, I'm going to sit back and talk about a little bit of Mars Habitat for Humanity. Uh, we did, uh, we're did. we doing three separate days with them where we're going to be showing behind-the-scenes footage about what the project is about. As you know, Changing Optics is all about connecting uh, photographers with the local community. So uh, Mars Habitat is one of the spots lights coming up. We also have a lot of mitzvahs uh, going on, so you can check out Mitzvah Mayhem. Uh, we have a wedding that we just did recently, uh, so that's going to be a real life wedding. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Take care. We will see you on the next My Messy Deck.